Okay, so we've looked at the outdoor unit, the air source heat pump, the bit that's outside doing all of the work and converting that air into useful energy for internally. This is what you're gonna need indoors, or something of this nature. This is your hot water cylinder. This particular unit is a pre-plumb unit which actually works with the Mitsubishi Ikadan. It's specific to that model. It has all of the gobbins that we need to attach to. It has the central heating pumps, it has all the sensors, it has the interface that talks to the heating system, and it also talks to the air source heat pump. Realistically, or ideally, the minimum amount of space that we would need to put this particular unit in is an 800 by 800 space, whether you've got an airing cupboard or a utility room that can facilitate. These are very diverse as well, so you may have lofts space at the moment but you might have tanks up in the loft that are feeding your existing hot water and heating system. These run off a of mains pressure so that means that we can get rid of that gravity water feed so them tanks in the loft can be taken away. If you had enough room or capacity for your loft hatch you can actually put these up into the loft space as well. If this wasn't ideal in terms of its size and what you know in terms of incorporating this into a cupboard of sorts on the site survey we can ascertain and, and design a system that will work and benefit for your home so we can get a third party cylinder in we can still use and, and we'll gain all of these components but we just arrange them in a different manner and um, you know we think about the whole process for you and what works great bits of kit and this is what you would expect on a typical installation. Obviously the various sizes of homes and heating and hot water requirements, but you know, a large, a large number of our customers would need something of this size and one of the heat pumps.